looking at was what could we find and with the SP1 you know we found this 40 hundred weight difference when we done out of the wind rower but Kevin called me a couple of days ago and said when he actually dug the field it, what were you noticing <coughs> you could see a yield difference that was one part of it but when you were digging you could also see the soil it was a lumpy field and it basically took care of 90 to 95 percent of the lumps of dirt. Clods in potatoes is probably one of the worst things that I could ever think of uh, that you can do for bruise and for yield. So it is a tremendous issue, you know, clods. Now we saw a little bit of yield difference. We were digging in the, in, in the when we dug that 40 foot, that was the five gallon rate, wasn't it? Correct. So that five gallon rate, we found about 30, 40 hundred weight difference. It, it might be a little bit more than that when you do the math on it, yes. Mm -hmm. See anything more with the 10 gallon? Yeah, when I was going down through the field, before we were going one way and we had extra room on our truck, and our trucks are 20 foot bodies. When I came along to the 10 gallon rate, I came back through and I didn't get to the end of the field and my harvester was still full, but my truck was running over. So there probably was at least another 30 hundredweight per acre difference in that part alone, but the dirt clods were pretty near all eliminated at that point. So sometimes it's, it's not only the hundredweight that we're harvesting with the digger, it's the physical structure of the soil around the potatoes that has a lot to do with the quality on the potatoes that you're harvesting? Along with the terror that's in them, it makes a tremendous difference, yes. More than night and day. Kevin, has there been any difference in the speed that you can dig from this side with our check? Just a foundation program based around Nitro Plus? There's no doubt about it if there's a one to two gear difference in it. So, yes. There's so, on the 4455, that would be um, one and a half to two mile an hour difference. Again, we saw the reduction of dirt. Very much up. Dirt clods coming into the digger was tremendously suppressed. At that 10 gallon rate, where do you think we were, Kevin? 550 over? At least 50 hundred weight over last year. So again, we're seeing similar things that we saw last year. I'm just curious whether you, you think you get a bigger hit later in the season than you do, you put it out in planting and you're estimating roughly 50 bags this year. Correct. Uh, so you had five gallons at planting and five gallons over the top. It was Correct. an extra five yeah. gallons. This year. This year. This year. This year we, we had the SP1 on with the planter, and then we pulled in and put five gallons on down the road here. And uh, do you put it on by itself? Yes. You know, mm -hmm. have you ever blend it with anything? Have you ever have you messed around with? There's no problem with blending material in. As far as it goes into fungicides, yeah, absolutely, yeah, anything like that, yes, yeah, no problem whatsoever. Yeah, we've shot it on with Roundup and other chemicals out on the row crops, and there's been no problem. So you could put it on, and like in our system, we do one pass filling and we hill before the plants come out of the ground. You could easily put it with a herbicide application. No problem whatsoever. Yeah. Did you find it work any better, or? Uh, in furrow and your planting timing or versus or is it that versatile it can go either way? It was just simplicity for me to put it on with a planter. Uh, do all of the work ourselves and by doing that anything simpler would make it an easier project for me, you know. Yeah, I just was thinking right. about trying to save the app. Right. That was a separate app. Right. Well this wasn't separate because it went in the furrow with my liquid fertilizer, but Correct. Pretty much right on the seed or right oh, in. Wow, it was right in the the seed area within a couple inches of it. So what's negative about it? Anything you've come across that I have not come up across any negative whatsoever. Mm -hmm.